Just got home from the farmer's market. I figured I would do a little what's in my bag of the goodies that we got at the farmer's market. We actually didn't end up getting that much, but we had so much fun. This was our first time going to the farmer's market in Jersey City Heights. I mean, a beautiful view of the New York City skyline. There were a bunch of vendors. It was like just open space walking around. It was so lovely. We did end up finally trying Jane's matcha, which I had seen on Instagram before and was really excited to try. It's basically this girl Jane and like her mom and her dad. It was really sweet. Just all three of them making matcha from scratch, like right in front of you. They put everything together um, and they have basically seasonal flavors. I got an ube matcha, which was delicious. And it was so nice to just like walk around, sip on it, enjoy, take our time. There is something so thrilling to me about a farmer's market. I, I love farmer's markets. Even if I don't need groceries, at all. I just love to walk around. I find it so therapeutic to be surrounded by fruits and vegetables. <laughs> I just, I, you guys know that I love color in my wardrobe. I love bright oranges. And so seeing all of the tomatoes and the pumpkins and the flowers, we did actually get these stunning dahlias. We did end up walking home. So they, they desperately need water. So I put them in a vase the second we got home. This vase I actually got from Ikea. I love it so much. I love the shape of it and it fits a small bouquet so well. I am someone that does not like a lot of flowers. I much prefer having just a, a, a small, a baby bouquet as opposed to a ton of flowers. Sometimes I just think it's really overwhelming and I don't know where they fit. I don't have vases that are large enough. So I much prefer these. I know that Trader Joe's also has small bundles and this vendor at the farmer's market also had small bundles, which I really loved. And we weren't gonna get them because Ryan actually got me some flowers when I got back from my trip. They were here for me waiting when I got home, which was really sweet. So we weren't gonna get them. But then the guy was like, these are the last week that we'll have dahlias. And I was like, well, 
Ryan was like, then I guess we gotta get the dahlias. <laughs> so we did, and I'm so happy. I just think that putting flowers in, in your space, I typically put them here at my desk or at the window. So I see them the second I wake up or I see them the second that I start my work day and it just puts a big smile on my face. I love this bag that I have. It is the LL Bean tote bag. I believe that this is the medium size with the long straps. I personally love a tote bag with a long strap. I feel like it falls perfectly where I want it to fall and I'm able to put my whole arm down and not have it like propped up on a bag. And I also really like that this one holds its shape. Like it, it stays sturdy. It's not like you put things in it and then it topples over. Like if I were to put this down, it would stay standing up. If you couldn't tell, I'm very picky on my tote bags. Um, and you can also embroider anything that you want on these. I put Casey on it. I actually got one for my mom in red and it says good stuff because my dad is always just saying like whenever we get good news or something, he's just like good stuff. <laughs> and then the only other thing that I had in there was my wallet. It really is awesome how many vendors at farmer's markets take like Apple Pay now and credit card. I feel like it's so easy. I also do always bring one of these bagus. I've talked about these ad nauseum. If you <laughs> if you follow me on any platform or if you've watched my videos before, I actually did a collection of all of my bagus, so you can check that out. This one has like a bunch of Snoopies on it and fall flowers. Also know that I love peanuts and Snoopy if you followed me before. So the bagu peanuts collab was I mean, it was meant for me. This size is the baby bagu size. I love to take this for my like lunches or if I know that we're not gonna get too much like today, I like to just throw this one in. So starting off strong, Ryan got a giant <laughs> container of spicy pickles. And this vendor is Jersey Pickles. We've never tried his pickles before, but what I really liked about this was that they had a bunch of them out with like toothpicks and you could try all of the pickled vegetables, the olives, everything that he had. So it's not like you blind buy one of these large jugs and you're stuck with it. But I feel like nine times out of 10, the fresh pickles that they have at farmer's markets are so good and he loved these, so he got one. We also got two fresh heirlooms. I absolutely love heirloom tomatoes summer staple i feel like they're on their way out of season but they had like some of the best heirlooms i've ever seen at a farmer's market and there were so many of them so we got this yellow one and this red one and then we also got an avocado so that we can make blts for lunch this week we do a little bit of sourdough bread mayo is a must on a blt for me and i think because they're such simple sandwiches you really have to have a good tomato so like a good farmer's market tomato goes so far and you've got to salt and pepper them. Then we also got a variety pack of mushrooms. There's a sneak peek for you. It was like a husband and wife duo. They were so sweet. They actually grow the mushrooms themselves in Jersey City. And then they have other varieties that ship in. But I explained to him what we were cooking. This is also what I love about shopping at farmer's markets. I feel like the vendors are so much more willing and just excited to talk things through with you. Like he was like, what are you guys planning on making? Like what's the sauce situation? And so it was just fun to talk things do with him and to get his recommendations and then our last stop on this like farmer's market day was to bread and salt bakery which we have heard a ton about it's like a very popular bakery in jersey city they make everything from scratch their bread is supposed to be delicious and it's literally just like a garage it's very small you go in you order and they just sell until their stuff runs out. We just kind of went in blind and picked whatever sounded good to us and it was unbelievable. Ryan was like, from all the food I've had in my life, this is up there. The focaccia of their sandwiches was extremely like crispy, but also fluffy. We ended up getting a sandwich that had salami fig jam, which, I love a fig jam. If I'm making a charcuterie board, there's fig jam on the board, 100%. So I had fig jam and then gorgonzola cheese. And Ryan's not even a big fan of gorgonzola cheese. I was like, I don't know if you're gonna like this one, but I do think we need to order it. And he absolutely loved it. And they're massive too, you can definitely share them. And then as we were going to check out, there were these little like pizzas, I think they call them like pizzettes, um, like personal pizza things. And I was like, oh, what are these? And she was telling me about it. And I was like, oh, like maybe we'll try them next time. And she was like, I will say, they are rare, which everybody's getting me to. The Dahlia man was like, they're the last ones. The girl was like, they are rare. But after looking it up afterwards, like apparently they sell out of them immediately and there were only two left. So we snagged one of the last ones and it was so good. I'm always thoroughly impressed when a very simple dish is excellent. Like when it has super simple ingredients because then you know that every single ingredient is really good. So that was delicious. And then Ryan got a donut. I'm not a big donut girl, but he said that they were fantastic. And it 
it was like right I think like a four minute walk from the farmer's market so we just walked right on over they had some little umbrellas and high top tables so we ate there and then we decided to walk back home as we were walking back home Ryan was like you're like the queen of Sunday morning activities and it really is so true I just love waking up and starting the day with something positive like just getting outside I find that on days I'm a huge morning person I don't even drink coffee I'm just chipper from the second I wake up um, but I've found that if I stay in for too long once I've woken up I have the tendency to kind of dig myself into a hole and I find it harder to get up and go outside so I like to just from the get-go get up do an activity get outside and then we come back home and like rest for the rest of the day on the walk back we also looked at some of the Jersey City like brownstones near the park which was so cool I love when like homes go all out and I love when there's a theme like that whole block that did the pirate theme was so cool I really am amazed by such simple things and that's something that I just love about me and Ryan's relationship like we will just do something as simple as walking around and looking at brownstones but we have so much fun together because we both enjoy doing it so much hopefully you guys enjoyed this little what's in my bag farmer's market edition I'm sure we'll be going back so it'll be in future vlogs too there will be more fun Halloween New York City everything adventures so make sure you stay tuned. See you in the next one. Let goes